Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I want to talk about kind of something that I've discussed a little bit in the past, and that's a whole conversation about people asking directors and actors how they feel about kind of superhero movies in, gen in general, you know, the superhero genre, but more specifically the MCU because it kind of is the prime example because it's this franchise beast that it is and so it's interesting because we talked about I've talked about this before back when Morris Scorsese made his comments which I said at the time I don't agree with his sentiments I can understand where he's coming from I don't view uh the MCU that way you know the whole comment of not cinema but then he elaborated more just like once again it's just I don't see things from his perspective but everyone's entitled to feel how they feel about it so the reason I'm bringing this up, because like I said, other actors have said stuff. I know Ridley Scott apparently has said something recently, which is just, it's such an interesting thing. Because like, the, I was watching, I won't say Fat Man Beyond, and even like Kevin was like, why are people asking all these actors and directors, like all these, like, you know, it's for the purpose of like, right, you're going to get clicks. But I also get like, you know, the fervor behind it too, because I guess it's like, right, you want to ask a well-renowned person, like, yeah, these movies are these phenomena and stuff like that. How do you feel about them? And I think everyone's entitled to feel the way they want to. They want to be like, like, oh, these are, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend using such strong words, but I know like someone could tell us the word, oh, these movies are garbage. That's, you're entitled to feel the way you are. I'm not going to hold it against everyone because I know there are people who are just like, I have zero interest in the superhero genre. They're just not appealing to people. And I'm like, that's fine. You know, some people are like, I should hate superhero movies. It's totally okay. I, as someone who is this is in my wheelhouse. This is my bag. I love superhero movies. I've talked about it before and I want to talk about it again. I have not reached that point of superhero fatigue. DC, Marvel, whatever you want to throw at me, I'm there for it. TV, movie-wise, I got you. Like, I, like, I'm down for it. So I haven't reached that point. So I'm also like, you know, so they're kind of like aiming more at me and people who are just in it and stuff like that. But it's just, it's just interesting because... I also chalk it up to not just the whole, I mean, yes, from an article standpoint, you want clips, you want uh, sound bites and, you know, quotes that you could use to attract a lot more people. But I also think on some level, people want to hear from, like I say, these great people like a Martin Scorsese or Ridley Scott or like, you know, a well-known actor. You want to know that the people that you admire their work, like how they feel about it. Because there's plenty of well-known directors and actors who've been like, oh man, those Marvel movies, that's crazy. I'd love to be able to participate in that. I mean, there is a perspective of, well, it's a great job opportunity in some regards, but also it just could be like, oh, maybe I'm just a fan of this, you know? And so, like, it's just, I think some people just want to know that the people they look up to are kind of into the same things that they are. I think that's where a part of the conversation could be. Um, I, I just think it's it's fascinating. Like, But I think it's like we also need uh, validation in what we like in some terms. Like, you want to know, like I said, know, like, oh, cool, like, the director, like, Martin Scorsese, oh, my God, he loves uh, Marvel movies. Like, if he if he loved the MCU movies, then you'd be like, oh, man, that's, that's tight, that's sick, that's awesome, because you want to be able to, like, you know, because I get it, I get, like, we all have that nerdy thing where it's like, we get defensive about the things we like because we don't like it when people talk down about the thing we like. You know, but it's just one of those things like we, and I've talked about it in the past, I've had to adjust myself about that because I have a tendency to like go, I have to take a step back and be like, it's okay. People don't like what I like. That's totally fine. And this kind of fits that same conversation, but it's just interesting how people have kind of taken that to be like, oh, Ridley Scott, who is he? Some hack. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that's so interesting to use those particular words, but that's. I just think that's so fascinating. I get it because it's also for some people, it's like, oh, you sound like um, so out of touch with everything because it's like, right, you are someone who's done a lot of movies. You've done a lot of great things. But it, it, it seems like, oh, you're so out of touch because these movies are the gigantic monsters that they are. And there's such a fervor and a massive fan base around them. But also, you know, bigger isn't always better for some people. So, they, you know, there's a the conversation. They're just like, oh, just because they're these big blockbuster movies. It's like, I just feel like big blockbusters never got the negative connotation that the superhero movie genre has because this superhero genre has become a huge thing all in its own like there's blockbusters and then there's the superhero genre and yes they coincide but it just the superhero genre is a beast all on its own so it's just to me i find it just an interesting thing because obviously i'm referencing directors but there have been actors who like one, there's one particular actor who referenced to an mcu movie as garbage that i was actually quoting one particular actor i'm not going to throw that actor under the bus like i completely disagree with that point i'm like you didn't like the movie that's fine it's just certain aspects of his words went beyond just the act just the movie he actually kind of like 
said certain things about Scarlett Johansson about she should be embarrassed for doing the movie or whatever. It's a whole thing. So I'm like, I don't agree with those comments. You're entitled to feel that way. Just don't think you need to put that public. Like, if you don't like something, you don't have to, like, you know. But once again, it's just like everyone wants to know. It's like it's like a big cultural phenomenon. So, like, you, you're you curious about getting everyone's input. And you also, once again, you know the clicks of, like, oh, people are going to jump on something here. And, like, oh, what does so-and-so have to say about the movies? Because there's, I mean, because it's also the thing, too. Like, I know for some people's perspective, like, even people who are in the superhero genre, for some of them, it's like, it's just a job. There are people who are like, nah, I'm all about the comics. I read this and that in preparation for the role. There are other people who are like, nah, it's just a job. I'm not trying to call any actors out or anything. Not saying it's a bad thing. It's like, hey, you're just doing your job. So you're not into the nitty gritty of it like that. You know, you're not as, like, well-versed in the nerdum as, like, other people are. That's fine. As long as you do your job well and you're giving it your all, I think that should account for something. But I know, like, some people just aren't built like that. To be like, oh, I'm not going to deep dive for a role. I'm just going to, like, get do what's presented in front of me and not go too, like, off the wall. But, you know, some people, like, once they get a, a character, they decide, like, no, I'm going to do deep research. I'm going to find all this stuff. And, you know, so it's, it's just a fascinating conversation that... It's not going to stop here. It's never going to stop because eventually we're going to get to the point someone else is going to say something because someone's going to get asked about it. And it's just like someone's going to be doing their junket run because they have something that's coming out. And someone's going to get like, oh, so how do you feel about the MCU move? How do you feel about Martin Scorsese? Because like everyone got asked, like when Martin Scorsese said something about the MCU being like roller coasters and stuff like that. Once again, I didn't agree with it, but I can understand where he was coming from. But also like, you know, once again, that's just not my lens. Like, you know. But once again, everyone under the sun, Robert Downey Jr., people connected to the MCU put out their like statements. Cause I think didn't um, James Gunn say something at the time? Uh, I think even maybe even Kevin Feige might have said something. I don't remember. But it's just it's just one of those things. So like it's never gonna go away. It's always gonna be there. Someone else is gonna be asked at some point in time during like a junket run or something like that. Which like once again, Ridley Scott's entitled to feel the way he wants to. It's like. He, I don't even know what his exact wording was. I just remember people saying, like, oh, yeah, he's, like, just crapping on MCU movies. It's like, it doesn't matter. Like, he can feel whatever he wants to because I've come to terms of, like, I like plenty of stuff that I'm like, yeah, that's kind of a niche today because I know, like, I'm the only one. You know, you can have your criticisms and not like something for its own reasons or maybe you're just, like, it's just knowing it's not your cup of tea and you want to watch. That's fine, too. Like, not liking something is okay. It's not a thing to be like. It's always, I get it because we always want to share in things of, like, yeah, we want to rejoice in like love the thing that we love with other people but when other people don't like it you're like oh it takes a little sell out of win out, out of your win at least i felt like that an example would be like i think i've talked about this years ago scott pilgrim is like one of my favorite movies but like one of my friends says she's like oh really it's one of your favorites i mean it's all right and it, it made me back down and then i watched him kind of hadn't seen the movie for years and then like a couple years later i saw it again i was like what is wrong with me why did i back down I love this movie. So it's one of those things of like learning like, oh, don't let other people's opinions feel. It's like, right. Like I said, I can respect someone's opinion and be like, I disagree, but you're entitled to your opinion. Once again, we don't always have to like everything because I know there's so much on this channel like that I review on a regular basis. I'm like, I like this TV show and people are pretty clear like, they don't like this, they don't like that. I'm like, that's perfectly fine too. You gave it your try and it's like, you gave it a try, maybe like four episodes of a TV show. You're like, it's not for me totally fine you know yes i'll still have my rebuttals here and there but you know we're in, we're entitled to have like a conversation about like okay you don't like this it's like well that was not an issue for me you know so we're able to have a civil conversation without it being like you suck you're a terrible human for liking what you like or you're a terrible person for not liking what i like you know so like i said it's just an interesting conversation that like i said it's not going away anytime soon if the mcu continues to be the beast that it is it's always going to be a part of that conversation because it's in just the general uh, pop zeitgeist, so you, you're it's going to come up, it, you know, so, but obviously these are just my thoughts, I'd love to get to know your thoughts down below, do you agree with some of the points I brought up, do you disagree, I'd love to know your thoughts about everything in general, but really that's all I wanted to talk about, so the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, low light to the fullest, and enjoy it, good day, and goodbye.